What's up guys? So I'm not wrenching on cars, I'm usually wrenching on snowmobiles. So today I'm going to show you how to install this voltage regulator on a 99 Polaris Indy. Hope you enjoy. Some things you'll need for this job. Quarter inch ratchet. Quarter inch extender. 3 8 socket. 3 8 wrench. 5 16 wrench, possibly a flashlight. Uh, that should be all you need for this job. So we've made the transmission out to the garage. Um, step one in any install is to warm the place up and it's been warming up for a little bit. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna be installing a voltage regulator on this sled. Here's the part number from Polaris. Focus, focus, there it is. So, <clears throat> reasons why you might want to be changing your voltage regulator. Um, I noticed that I was burning out a lot of rear tail lights, brake lights. Uh, the headlights would change from bright to dim, back and forth, and uh, no matter on what RPM I was at. So the voltage regulator does just like it sounds. It, it keeps 12 volts to all of your accessories, your hand warmers, your light, headlights, tail lights so that uh, they run properly. The next step is to remove the existing voltage regulator. We're on a 99 Indy. It is located right by the right side foot well underneath the hood, right behind the, the exhaust output. So the factory nuts and bolts are standard. The actual nut itself here is a 3 8 I can't see that. And the head on the back that you need to hold with a wrench is a 5 16 Let's get after it. So now you can see the two bolts. There's a small spacer. It goes in the back. It's not threaded, as it shouldn't be. Then you have your actual voltage regulator hooked in with one yellow wire. And this is a ground, which is also connected to a chassis ground somewhere else in this in the um, the actual harness. So we'll get this electric connector taken off. So the connector just pulls right off, just like you'd expect it to. It's a, you know, a standard like buck connector up into there. So let's get, figure out what size this buck connector is and get one transferred over onto the new one. So looking at the new voltage regulator versus the old voltage regulator, and here I, can, um, I think I should be able to just plug this one right in. And it does seem to go right in. Maybe I'll wrap some electrical tape around it or something. It seems like a pretty loose fit compared to the other one. Um, and then if you notice, obviously they're, they look completely different. This one has four holes on the top, which uh, mounted it. This one's got two on the side. So in the kit, the part number that I showed you, they give you this mounting bracket. You can see that it's got four holes on the top very similar to the old one. And then it's got these offset holes so that you can mount the regulator like such on the plate with some hardware that they provided. So we're gonna try to put this back together. So you can see I went ahead and attached the new voltage regulator to the bracket they provide. Um, this is also provided hardware and the wrench and socket size are the exact same as the factory hardware for the top here. So now we're just going to get this bad boy connected up.
So it's completely bolted up. I used the factory location on this sled uh, with that spacer, the same hardware from the factory. Notice that I put the ground underneath the same bolt as before. So now all I need to do is connect up this yellow wire and it should be good to go. Uh, they say that you don't have to do anything with the black one because it looks kind of brown because it grounds through the chassis so it's no no issue to the actual um, chassis of the rectifier so yeah we'll have to see if it works so as far as it working look at that I got brake lights now so as far as the difficulty on this install, I'd probably rate it about a 1 or a 2. It was pretty easy, uh, but it was very important. Got my sled running well again. Uh, if you enjoyed it or learned anything, uh, like, share, comment if you have any questions. Um, be sure to subscribe. I have more things coming, especially with, right now it's the winter, so a lot of my projects are kind of cut down. But I'm sure there will be a lot of great content coming, especially if you're into cars. Thanks.